This is mainly a guy who plays a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! His thoughts on the new cards that are going to be introduced into Magic. And before we get into it, thank you so much for watching the video. I love making Magic videos. I like Magic and I really want to grow into the game. So if you have any recommendations or if I say something wrong, just feel free to comment it. I'll be sure to read it and it'll help me and maybe anybody else who's interested in the chat. Besides that, I've heard that Magic has had a power creep recently. Because the other card game I play, Yu-Gi-Oh! has a lot of power creeps. So I want to see if Magic's going through the same exact thing. Starting off with the first cards we're starting out white we got aeronaut calvary it is five drop flying and what is it when enter the battlefield put a counter on another target soldier so it's a soldier card that's not that good i'm not gonna lie uh five mana for three four i mean yeah it can't even target itself not good airlift chapel lane it's flying it's a three drop when this card enters the battlefield mill three cards oh it's a mill card you may put a plane or creature with mana value 3 from among the mill into your hand. Okay, it's, it's alright. If you don't, put a count. Whoa, that's kind of good. So, not only... Okay, what, the weird thing is... Yeah, it's it's a 1 drop. So, it's going to be 1-1. One, one, and it's 3 mana. So, it's kind of weak. But it has flying. It could be a 2 drop. It could be 2-2. Two, two. Also, it mills. Um, I, I It doesn't seem that good. It could be better. Ambush Paratrooper. This is a 2 drop. Flying Flash! Hey yo! Creatures you control gain 1-1 one, one until the end of the turn. For 5 mana though. That's that's a good card. I don't know. That's a genuinely good card. I know last set there was a Flash. Uh, that I think it was a 1 drop. And it was like when it's summoned you can special summon a token. I'll put it on the screen. Um, this kind of reminds me of that. Except this is like more stronger. Because it's flying and I think it has better stats. Alright. Calamity Wait. Exile all great. Huh? Players cannot pass non-creature. What? It's an in what? No, I read that wrong. Because if I read that right, that's really overpowered. Exile all graveyards. A lot of decks rely on graveyards. Good. Players cannot cast non-creature spells this turn. It's you play this during your node. <laughs> no, I don't want to I don't want to believe that's a real card. That is insane. That I don't want to believe that's a real card. That card's too powerful. I'm gonna ignore it because it's just way too powerful. That's that card's dumb. It should be that that is a dumb card. Deadly Repsite deals 3 damage to a target creature and you gain 2 life. Whoa. These are good. Disenchant. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. I feel like that's a sideboard card. It's alright. This one's alright. Uh, but no, these two cards are pretty good. Uh, Calamities is definitely the best. Deadly second. Moving on, we got Great Desert Prospector. When this card enters the battlefield, create a tap Power Stone token for each other creature you control. Uh, they're artifacts with add mana. Tap to add mana. This mana can't be cast for a non-artifact spell. So that guy's like for an artifact deck. Five mana, the stats are pretty bad. Yeah, you get like a, a mana token, but it's only for artifacts. Uh, I'd pass on that, it's not that good. Um, creatures you control gain one one for three? Oh, it's an enhancement. Wait, that's literally like, um, what is that card where it's a vampire wedding announcement? It's literally like the third effect of wedding announcement. Exile target non-land permanent you don't control until in the trenches leave is the bat. For six mana though, that's a, that's a good card. That's weird. That's a good card. Because not only does it boost your monsters, you don't get any tokens like uh, Wedding Announcement. I know Wedding Announcement is going to be leaving the format, so I'm guessing this is kind of like a semi-replacement. Uh, but you can also use it as removal. That's an interesting card. I like that. Hyla's Command. Choose two. Create a 2-2 two -two colorless construct artifact creature token. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on a creature you control against Double Strike. Good. Search your library for basic lands, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle. Eh, it's alright. You gain two life, scry two. Okay, uh... I mean, it's kind of... I, I, this card's kind of good. You can't really sleep on this card. It has so much versatility. It has... Like, you can search a land if you don't have lands. You can use the double strike if you want to go for damage. You can just get a token if you want a body. You, I mean, you could scry and gain life, but I feel like that's the weakest of all the effects. I'm not a fan of scrying, personally. Kayla's Reconstruction. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put up to X artifact or creature cards with mana value 3 or less from among them onto the... What? That is insane. That card is so powerful. That is not a fair card. You could... That card is so good. That is such a good card. That, that is amazing. I mean, I, 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 I'm like speechless. That is That card is so good. Lay down arms. Exile target creature with mana value less than or equal to the number of planes you control. Whoa. Whoa, it's a one? It's a one mana? What the hell? That is so good. That is so good. What the heck? Vigilance. 
When Loden, the third path, enters the battlefield, destroy up to one target artifact or enhancement. It's a three drop. You and target opponent each draw. Whoa, what? And it's just a tap? You don't pay me Dude, what the heck is going? Okay, these cards are really good. Hylas, you can build a deck around this one card. Lay down arms in any plain, like mono white deck. This card is insane. Lauren is just like, it's just a good card. Okay, what else do we got? Yeah, no, I'm definitely seeing the power creep, 100%. Lauren's Disciple of History. Whenever Lauren's Disciple of History or another legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. That's That seems like it's really good support for like the legendary creature deck that uses this one like multicolored dude. I forgot his name, but I'll put a picture of him on the screen. Lauren's Escape. Target artifact or creature gains hexproof indestructible until the end of the turn. Scry 1. Wow, and hex... Um, that seems good. I, I would probably sideboard that card. Uh, create four one one colorless soldier artifact tokens for six. Uh, it's if artifacts is specifically important, then that seems like a good card. I don't think I don't think that's a good card. Uh, maybe in a specific deck, but I still don't think it's too for six mana. It's not worth it. Meticulous evacuation. Return target permanent you control to its owner's hand. So only cards you have. If this card has unearth, instead exile it. Then return that card to its owner's hand. Activate only during your turn. I don't get this card. You're returning cards to your own hand? Maybe that card works good in an unearth deck because you kind of get your effects back or something? I don't know. Military Discipline. Flash. Enhancement Creature. When this card enters a battlefield, Enchanted Creature gains first strike until the end of the turn. Enchanted Creature gains one. Oh, that's good. That's really good. In, um, in the Enchanted deck, which is really popular, I think it's a grass white uh, enchant deck. This is this card's gonna be this is gonna be included. It's just and it's one mana. It's perfect for the deck. My roll shield of Adi give. During your turn, your opponent what? Your opponent cannot cast spells or activate abilities of artifact creatures or enhancements during your wow. Whenever this card attacks, create X one one soldier artifact tokens where X is a number. It's a four, what the hell? That card's amazing. Not only does it have a sort of stun effect where your opponent can't do stuff during your turn. It also has an effect where it generates a bunch of tokens based off the number of tokens you have. That's a, that's a little overpowered. Uh, Failing and his stats are good. Failing's Vanguard. Vigilance. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, Failing scans one until the end of the turn and it's a two drop and its stats are good and it has Vigilance. That's good. Um, I don't know how good that's going to be an artifact. That's genuinely a good card. Power Stone Engineer. When Power Stone Engineer dies, create a tapped Power stone token and then you can use it as mana uh it has good stats i don't think it's super powerful but it is cool it's a good card it's just not super powerful a prison sentence enhancement creature when prison sentence enters the battlefield scry two okay enhancement creature cannot attack or block and its activated abilities cannot be activated yo what so not only is this card literally like a removal card like magic has a couple of them at, at three mana drops but it's also lets you look at the top two cards of your deck so that you're going to draw or at least try to get the card you want. Uh, very, very good. I don't know why it has a scribe effect. It just makes it better. Um, recommission. Return target artifact or creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. If a creature enters the battlefield this way, it enters with an additional 1-1 one, one counter. So it's literally like a special summon from the graveyard. You get a monster from your graveyard, you bring it back. Recommission's good. Recruitment Officer. I think I've seen this card already. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card with mana value three or less from among them. Put it in your hand. Eh. Uh, four mana to do that. It's a one drop. Its stats are good for a one drop. But it doesn't have like Vigilance, Flash, Flying. It doesn't have anything like that. It does have this cool effect where it can be useful late game. But I mean, besides that, come on. Like, there's better cards. Repair Recharge. 5 mana. Return target artifact enhancement or planeswalker from your graveyard to the battlefield. So it's literally like recommission, but better because you can target like... It doesn't require like mana. And you get a freaking token that's like tap it for mana. Uh, though that's... that's a These cards are kind of scary good. I haven't seen anything like that in Magic before. Maybe in the past there's been. Personally, I haven't seen anything like that. Siege Veteran. At the beginning of combat of your turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a target creature you control. It's a 3 drop. Oh, stats are kind of good. Whenever another non-token soldier you control dies, great one. What? Wait, that's good. That card's kind of scary. Oh, it's just the beginning of com. Wait, this card's genuinely good. Siege Veteran's cool. Not because the first effect is good, 
on its own, but then it has the additional effect where it just generates stuff. So it's kind of like, it has, it, it's just, it, it's a good card. Exile target non-land permanent for two mana. Where as long as this card remains exile, its owner may play it. A spell cast by an opponent this way costs two more mana to cast. Okay, I don't know if I like that card. They can play the card for two extra mana. I mean, I guess in the beginning of the game, it's an instant though. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I like this at all. It's not, uh, it's not, I'm not feeling it. Static net. When static net enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls and still static net. Yeah, that's a good one for four mana though. When enters the battlefield, you gain two life and create a tapped power stone token. Wow. I mean, that, it's okay. It li honestly, it's just, it's okay. I guess in that deck, it's really good removal because you also get a token in like an artifact deck. Survivor of Corliss. First strike, exile this card from your graveyard. Scry two. Two mana. Now that card sucks. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe this is the best card in the world. I think it sucks. I don't think a scry effect is worth two mana. I mean, you can use it in your graveyard, but whatever. Better cards. Thopter Architect. Whenever an architect enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gains flying until the end of the turn. Four mana, two, three, bad card. Uh, Tukasia's Welcome. Whenever one or more creature with mana value three or less enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. And this card is genuinely good. Like, I would probably run it, but it doesn't have a bonus effect. It doesn't have an effect where, oh, also scry one. Also, you can gain life. Also, draw a card. Also, uh, your monsters get stronger. Like, eh, it's whatever. It's okay. It's, it's, it's mid. Union of the third path. Draw a card. Then you gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. For three mana? Hell, that's garbage. Warlord Elite. As an additional cost to cast this spell, tap two untapped artifact creatures or lands you control. For why? This card sucks. Lotian Medic. Lifelink. It's a 1-4. Uh, at least it's not a defender. That's the only upside I can see. It's it's bad. Optimus Assembler. Vigilance. For one mana and you tap this, put a 1-1 counter on target. Uh, ambulance under your control. Its stats are really good. It's 5 mana drop. I don't know what prototype means. That's the first time I've ever seen it. You may cast this spell with a different mana cost. It keeps its abilities and types. So you can summon this card for 2 mana or you can summon this card for 5 mana. That's a cool card. Wait, this other one has it too. Combat Thresher. Double Strike. When Combat Thresher enters the battlefield, draw a card. I like that. I really like that. For three mana, you get Double Strike 1-1 one, one that lets you draw a card. And it's an artifact. That card's good. I like that card. Platoon Dispenser. At the beginning of your end step, if you control two or more creatures, draw a card. That's it? That, that can't be right. For eight, like, what? Oh, for four mana. Unearthed, you can bring it back from the graveyard. No, this card's good. This card's really good. So you just you just you're just gonna be drawing free cards. This card's a little too good, actually. Because not only do you have the draw effect, which is good on its own. Like I said with uh Turkrask Welcome, you have the draw effect, it's cool. Now you have yeah, it has an additional effect though. You can create a token. Also, you can bring it back from the graveyard. Like, okay, chill out, bro. We get it. So scrapwork covert is four mana. When it enters the battlefield, you create a 1-1 token. Also, you can bring it back from the graveyard. I want to say it's really good because you could just bring it back from the graveyard, which is insane on its own. But, I mean, it's 4 mana. At 4 mana, there's probably better cards you could play. Steel Setif. 6 mana. It's also a prototype. For 3 mana, it's a 3-3. Three, three. What? Hold up. That's too... Wait, no. no. I don't want to read that. That doesn't make sense. That's too good. 3-3 three, three flying for 3 mana? At the beginning of combat of your turn... Target creature you control gains your choice of flying vigilance lifelink. No. That card is so good. Damn. And it's an angel. Tocasia Anulet. When this card leaves the battlefield, gain two life. Eh. Bad. Unearth, bring it back. God, I'm not even gonna look. That's a bad card. That, this card, Steel Setup, is pretty insane though. Urzaz Silex. Exile this card. Each player chooses six lands they control. Destroy all other permanents. Activate only as a sorcery. That card's sick. It's a three drop? Wait a minute, what? It's a three drop? Okay, what's the other effect? When Urtha's Silex is put into exile from the battlefield, you may pay two mana if you do. Search your library for a Planeswalker card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. Cards like Urtha's Silex, I would expect them to be like six mana, seven mana, because you destroy like pretty much every card on the field, even yours, but it's insane. It's insanely powerful. No, 
Three mana, bro. Uh, yeah, for four mana, after you cast it, probably in your next turn, you can exile this card. You get six lands, they get six lands, but then it searches you a Planeswalker after this card gets banished. That card's so good. Urza Silex is kind of scary. It's like, I don't want to... I don't have to play around that. The The thing is, is that it's kind of generic. Like, if your deck can play planes, you can run this card. And it's a complete board wipe. It's a little scary. Veteran's Power Blade. Equip creature gains 2-0. Equip soldier. 1. Equip 2. Veteran's Power Blade is kind of sleeper. I don't care about it too much. Eh, whatever. Yotian's Frontliner. When this card attacks, another target creature you control gains 1-1 one, one until the end of the turn. It's a 1-drop unearth and you can bring it back from the graveyard for one wait that card's kind of scary good yeah that card's kind of really good i, I don't want to think about this card too much just because it's a one drop which means you can use it in any deck but the unearth is a plane so it's kind of better in plane decks it, it's kind of good that's really good all right we're at the end i hope you enjoyed this video i really like looking at this stuff i'm excited to look at the blue one and that's it for now besides that are you excited for magic because i kind of am i want to see what they're gonna do with the meta I hope you have a great day or night, and see you later. Peace. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. You can check out all the new content I'm going to be making. But besides that, hope you have a great day. See ya. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining.